Hello, welcome to Basic Two Tech for students, teachers, and math education. Today's video, we shall learn how to differentiate polynomials. Polynomials is of this form y equal to s to the power n. First, to differentiate this, it becomes dy over dx. This means that we are differentiating y with respect to x. So the formula we use to differentiate is the index, which is the power, becomes the coefficient. So we have n times the x times the x. Then the n, which is the new index, is 1 less than the index in the original power. So it becomes n minus 1. So this is the, the formula or the format we use when we are differentiating polynomials. Remember, the index, which is the power, becomes the coefficient, and the new index is 1 less than the original power. Now, uh, how do we differentiate a constant? For example, we have y is equal to c. First, to differentiate this is uh, dy dx. So we're asked to differentiate y with respect to x and as you can see on my right hand side here we have no x value on my right hand side so that means that this is a constant so to differentiate a constant a constant will give us zero because it has no x value remember we are differentiating y with respect to x and there's no x value on this so it is zero Again, if, for example, we have y equal to 2, again, dy, the x, will give us just 0 because there is no x value in 2. So to differentiate a constant gives us 0. What about if y is equal to x? In this case, we can differentiate. So it means that we have dy over dx equal to x. So remember that x on its own means that it has power of 1. So it means that, remember the formula, it means that the index becomes the coefficient. So we have 1 times x. The new index is less than 1. So we have 1 minus 1. So that gives us 1 times x 1 minus 1 is 0 so we have 1 times x to the power 0 is 1 so 1 times 1 is equal to 1 so therefore it means that when we differentiate x with respect to the x it gives us 1 all right here is a question for us to differentiate polynomials, we have to differentiate each term in turn. For example, we have to differentiate this separately, this separately, 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 and separately. So if y is equal to 2x to the power 5 plus 4x to the power 4 minus x cubed plus 2x squared plus 7, find dy dx dy dx means that we are asked to differentiate the right hand side of y with respect to x so it means that we have dy over dx equal to let's start with the first uh, term this is the, fo this is the first term so the power becomes the index so it's 5 times 2 so we have 5 times 2 then x becomes what 5 minus 1 plus we have 4 times 4 then x equal to what 4 minus 1 minus remember 3 times x then 3 minus 1 Plus, 
plus 3 x squared which is 2 times 3 x 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 plus remember 7 is a constant so to differentiate that constant gives us 0 so let's continue so 5 times 2 is 10 so we have 10 x 5 minus 1 is 4 plus 4 times 4 is 16 x 4 minus 1 is 3 minus minus 3 x 3 minus 1 is 2 plus 2 times 3 is 6 x 2 minus 1 is 1 plus 0 so this is our final answer so the differentiation or differentiating y with respect to x gives us 10 s to the power 4 plus 16 s cubed minus 3 s squared plus 16 s so again the key is to remember the format is the power becomes the coefficient then the new power is always less than the index in the original power let's look at our next example this time we're asked to if y is 6x cubed minus 7x squared plus 4x plus 5 find the y dx and the value of the y dx when x is 3 so what they're asking us here is first to to differentiate y then secondly first we differentiate y then second we substitute x for 3 so let's do the first part let's differentiate y so our dy dx is so again the power becomes the coefficient so we have 3 times 6 so we have 3 times 6 so x we have 3 minus 1 minus 2 times 7 2 times 7 then x so 2 minus 1 plus x so what we have here is 1 this is 1 so 1 times 4 so we come x comes 1 minus 1 plus when we differentiate 5 5 is a constant so that gives us 0 so therefore our dy dx is equal to 3 times 6 is 18 x 3 minus 1 is 2 minus 2 times 7 is 14 x 2 minus 1 is 1 plus 1 times 4 is 4 1 minus 1 is 0 so um, x 1 minus 1 is 0 okay so therefore our dy dx is equal to 18x squared minus 14x plus 4. Remember that x to power 0 is 1. Remember that x to power 0 is 1. So 4 times 1 is 4. This is our first part of the question. Remember, we are asked to find the value of dy dx when x is 3. So if x is equal to 3, so therefore we have our dy dx becomes 18. x is 3, so we have 3 or squared minus 14 times x. x is 3 plus 4. So um, that gives us 18 times 3 squared is 3 times 3 that gives us 9 minus 14 times 3 
plus 4. That will give us 18 times 3 is 162. Minus 14 times 3 is 42 plus 4. So 162 minus 42 plus 4, that gives us 124. So this is our final answer when x is 3. Here is a practice question for you. Please do this question on a piece of paper. Then take a screenshot and you can send to the email that you see in the description below. And we shall respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.